Hi there, I'm Ursula Perry and welcome to my kitchen. Yes, we're taking this episode of Lexi Loves Food on the road. Ursula has decided to or host a very special episode. What are we having today? We are having a number of things that I grew up eating that uh, I didn't realize the rest of the world didn't eat like us. I mean, I've got some frog legs here. I've got some alligator meat. I've got some boudin. Um, I've got a Creole mustard sauce for us to dip oh, anything so we good. want. We also have hush puppies, homemade hush puppies. And we have this, which is probably my favorite thing in the whole wide world, called crawfish pistolets. Mm. And it's a... Um, if you like crawfish etouffee, what this is, is it's a French pastry and you stuff it like a donut with <laughs> crawfish etouffee and then you deep fry it. That sounds amazing. This is like a heart attack in bowls. So this is like you brought Lafayette to us today, kind That's of. That's right, Lafayette. Yes, Lafayette, <laughs> sorry. That's okay, everyone no. pronounces it like a city in another state, but yeah. actually if you're from Lafayette, it's Lafayette. Lafayette, well thank you so much. I have to say, usually on Lexi Loves Food, some of the things kind of make me nervous. They're not necessarily appetizing <laughs> to look at. <laughs> All of this looks really, really great though, so good. I am excited to do Before I cooked the frog legs, they didn't look so good. No, no, I know Andrew got some video of that. They looked like a... Uh... <clears throat> and, and to be honest with you, the boudin is not very appetizing looking, but actually I used to have this for breakfast. And this is, um, I don't know if it's still made the way, but this is a pig intestine. Do we, do we use our hands? Is that the proper way? Do we um, use, you, do you, uh, you know, you can use your hands. Um, it's going to kind of fall off the bone a little bit. Um, the leg. Yeah, so there's your... Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> little Kermit. Yes, this kind of does look just like a little, little chicken leg. <laughs> you don't like that? I mean, it's Kermit, yeah. R.I.P. little guy. And uh, you put a little, little Creole mustard sauce with it. Okay, so the the meat to bone ratio on this is a lot better than the chicken feet already, I can tell. It's a little like chicken, mm -hmm. very tender. Better, I would say, than chicken. Though. Better than chicken? Mm -hmm. Well, my crust, my little my little crusty part came loose off of mine. Um, it part. is similar, but it's more flavorful, mm -hmm. I would say. You know, I eat a lot of weird food, but mm -hmm. I have to say baked chicken is my least favorite thing in the world oh, to eat. Oh, really? It's very bland. Yeah. Now, alligator meat, is some people consider it a delicacy. This is a um, something you could use for an appetizer. You just make little skewers of it. Okay. So I've had fried alligator, like alligator on a stick at the rodeo mm -hmm. and things like that, but this looks um, a little fancy. Yeah, that's really good. That is good. That is really, really good. That's I'm gonna have really to start good. talking Cajun French here in a minute. I would love that. This is an authentic Cajun meal. <laughs> this is a not a bad way to start my Monday morning, I'm gonna be, to be honest. <laughs> so when you cut it, you'll see it's really just kind of a stuffing in there. Um, and that's a and you kind of push, you kind of push okay. the stuffing out. You don't have to eat the intestine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is my favorite part of our meal right here. So it's like a sausage, but you don't eat the casing. Right, okay. and you just kind of push it out. Some people just take the whole thing, mm -hmm. and you know, like they say with crawfish, you know, suck the head, just suck the, the stuffing out. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. <laughs> it has a little kick to it. Yeah, it does. It does, but it's, uh, it's very flavorful. So, when I was growing up, there was something called blood boudin. Mm. I'll let you have a bite before I explain it. So blood boudin is black. And I've made that too. And that does involve killing a pig and catching the blood as it comes out. With a bucket or? <laughs> exactly. Cool. We didn't make that kind of boudin for you. Okay. So, wow. So the blood boudin mm -hmm. is a is a old Cajun delicacy, and they also serve a type of it in France, mm -hmm. but I think it's outlawed here. Really? Because there's no way to make sure that the blood is not contaminated. I have had hush puppies before, mm -hmm. but these are really good. Mm. <laughs> these are always good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of get the spice out of your mouth. 
Why don't you grab a fistulette? Why, thank you. So the thing that makes these so nice is that this is like a French uh, pastry. And so it's got a crunch and it kind of falls apart in your mouth. But then I said there was a, there's a stuffing inside of it. It's mm -hmm. like Cajun etouffee. This is exciting. Go deeper. <laughs> you gotta get to the stuffing. Mmm, that's good. Yeah, that bread is really good though. <laughs> the bread itself, you can, just the bread yeah. is worth the bite. Oh, yep, I'm getting to it. This is a coffee. I do say on the inside. I'd love to get a cholesterol mm. count <laughs> after this meal. Oh my gosh. This is delicious. Thank you so much for opening up your kitchen to us. And Anytime. This was incredible. The fanciest episode of Lexi Loves Food. Also definitely the most fun for me. Good. I didn't have to do anything that uh, <laughs> made my stomach turn. All of this is delicious. Um, and yeah, I can't believe I've never had like, I've never had anything like this before, so. When I was growing up, I thought everybody ate like this. And so um, I'm, I, I'm very honored to share it with Lexi Loves Food. Well, thank you so much, Ursula. Um, as always, if you have any recommendations, it doesn't have to be this fancy and delicious, but if you have any recommendations of any food you'd like me to try, just go ahead and comment or DM us and I'll be happy to do it.